Finally here tonight, Harry Smith brings us the inspiring story of a small business that started with one couple's mission to make sure that nothing would hold their autistic son back from being a successful member of the larger community. And so tonight, Mr. Smith goes to the car wash where something great is happening in Parkland, Florida. Word is spreading around Parkland, Florida that they do a really nice job at the Rising Tide Car Wash. Thorough, attention to detail, and polite. Nice to meet you, Harry. When he dreamed up this place, most everyone told John Derry he was nuts. There's definite insanity in here. It's really just blind commitment from the standpoint of I don't care, I'm doing it, and I know it'll work. John's crazy idea? Build a business with the primary mission of employing people with autism. He's got 35 guys working here who fall somewhere on the autism spectrum. By having an entire crew in the spectrum, you don't see any guys on cell phones out of there trying to get out of work right now and on their cell phone because, because, because. The key to rising tide success is day to day, the job doesn't change all that much. And for many on the autism spectrum, like Vilon, Matt, and John's son, Andrew, that's kind of perfect. What's the best part of it? Right, doing tire shines on the customer's car. Going through a car wash two years ago, John thought Andrew could do this. Is it for a Monday? An answer, perhaps, to the question every parent with a child with special needs worries about. What happens when they grow up? Yeah. What does this give your son? This gives him a life. And that was John's vision from the beginning. But now we all see it. Do a good job on this one. You can go on break, OK? Right. Including Andrew's job, brother, Tom who chose not to work on Wall Street in order to help start this family business. I work alongside him every day. Um, we wash cars right next to each other sometimes. With tips and not a penny in government subsidies, the men here average about $11 an hour. And while a few have quit, John hasn't fired anyone. And he wants to build two more car washes to see if the business model is viable. We're setting people up for success, not for failure. I don't want to throw a lifeline and have to pull it back. Dignity independence, a paycheck. Frankly, it's what every parent dreams of for their child. Harry Smith, NBC News, Parkland, Florida.